All right, I want to do a quick review on this Pelican bow case. I've been looking for a bow case for a long time. I really hated most of the options out there. Most of them seemed really flimsy, plasticky. They had the, the bow arch shape to them, which I didn't particularly like for trying to fit in different places. I liked the more rectangled off look. And then it didn't feel like they either protected it enough, which fit the size bow that I have, or they were too small to fit any accessories that I wanted. I wanted something I could throw in the back of the truck when I'm going out hunting, traveling from state to state and it's not gonna get tossed around, it's gonna be protected. I can stack things on top of it and not worry about it. And I can also, if I ever need to, take it on an airplane with me. And again, be able to have my accessories in there and not have to worry about it. So I found this Pelican bow case. It's a little bit pricier, of course, than other bow cases, as are most Pelican products, but they last forever. They're extremely durable, and that's why everyone gets them over and over and over again. So to look at this right away, so this is my hand right here. This is a large case. My hand, I'm about six foot tall, so my hand, I don't know, comparison for this, uh, is all the way stretched out. It's, it's thick. So this is probably, I want to say, 10 inches thick probably, eight inches thick at least. It's a pretty thick case and then it's a pretty long case as well. You've got roller wheels right here, but you still have handles on the sides. These handles kind of clip in right there, and if you pull hard, it pops out like that, and you can slap those back down when they stay down. So it has the roller wheels on this side, a giant handle right here. Again, it's locked in place. You pull hard, it opens up, and then you can slam that back down. And then again right here, it has another handle and slap that down or pull it up and that's what you'd be using if you're using the rolly handles. It has two locking TSA compliant locks and then it actually has six latches. So four in the front and then one on the side and then one on the other side. So you've got a lot of latches. And this is their um, uh, whatever it's called, pressure release. So when you're in an airplane going up, pressure inside the case is different than outside because it's watertight, water sealed, air sealed. It can relieve the pressure so you're not having a pressure imbalance when you're opening this up after you've been traveling or going up or down in elevation with it. So let me open it up, show you what's inside. This is the top. Just says Pelican Air, Pelican Air bow case. I'm going to open up all of these latches here. There's a little button on these latches you push and then you can pull it up so the latch can't accidentally be open. You have to push that little button on top to open it. And you can also put your own locks, of course, like most Pelican cases, if you desire that as well. Oops, one more over here. All right, so this is what we are working with right here. So a lot of these accessories do not come attached. They come inside a box inside this case when you get it. And you can attach them where you want to. So it comes with these foam blocks for adding arrows in there. I'm actually probably going to replace these, take these foam blocks out, and strap an arrow tube in there. That way it can fit more arrows, put it inside a tube. And then right now I have this set up so my quiver can attach right up here when I'm not using it because it doesn't fit well staying on the bow and closing. So I like taking the quiver off, being able to put it up there, and it fits well in there. It comes with these two side pouches. You can attach anywhere, but I have them on the side. You can put whatever accessories you want. They're just zipper pouches. I typically have right here, I have my uh, stabilizer. It doesn't completely, sorry, my finger's in the way. It doesn't completely fit in there, but I have a stabilizing stabilizer bar in there. And then typically over here, I'll have broadheads and things like that inside that case. And then down here, let me move my quiver. You have another zipper pocket. This is kind of the protection part that protects your bow from everything else, all your accessories. I usually put my release in here. Right now my release is not in here, but this is a big pocket. I'll throw my release in there, my backup release, in case I need those. You have some molly type uh, straps right here in case you want to put anything else here. And then you have these nice buckles that kind of cinch this down. You can pull the buckles down and cinch it down over your bow to kind of keep that locked in place and separate from everything else that you have here. So I'm going to open this up. And one cool feature, and there's a lot of interesting things they thought of with this case that I probably wouldn't have thought of myself, is when you're pulling this up, is you can now connect it to these buckles up here to keep it up and out of the way so it doesn't keep falling down. So let me pause the video real fast, buckle that up, and I'll start it again. All right, so now that is buckled up and out of the way. You can see right here, those buckles hold that up. So now this is up out of the way, and now you can see the bow down here. Now, I have a shorter bow than what this case is able to hold. Uh, my bow is 31 inches. I believe this holds up to 34 inches. And so the way these straps and settings are made right here, 
It's not 100% customized to my bow length, but it does work. So you can adjust each of these blocks. So you get these two small blocks, you get these two larger blocks, um, and then you get these, where are they? Actually, I might've have them in this right here. Yeah. You get a bunch of these little tie down things so you can actually secure different parts of the bow. You can go through the molly type strap down there, pull it up and secure and tighten it down. These are actually pretty cool. You can go through that right there. You hook it back to itself and then you can pull it tight. It automatically cinches down when you pull it. So you can easily pull this and cinch down your bow straight to the bottom of the case anywhere you'd like so it holds it in place. These pads are more so to prevent it from sliding around. So if I slide this bow all the way forward, um, it's going to rub against these. I actually need to move these probably back one peg each. Typically though, when I have it all strapped down with these, uh, these are, there's about six of these. I'll have these on the edges right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. The bow does not go anywhere. It's solid in place even without these blocks, but the blocks are still there as nice cushions in case something moves about. So, um, I'm probably going to end up moving these all down one, this down one, this down one, this down one. So it kind of fits the bow back of the case a little bit better than it currently does. But overall, I really like how much space is in there. I love the ability to cinch it down with these, just prevent any movement back and forth, and it really just holds it securely in there. And also, I really like this padded divider. That way, all the accessories and things up top, if they come loose or just rubbing back and forth and travel, don't rub against the bow itself and mess anything up. The bottom of the case is padded. There's a nice thick pad down here. It's a little bit harder, but it is still a nice and thick pad uh, to protect your bow from any type of uh, rubbing back and forth that might occur. So overall, I highly recommend this case. If you're looking for something great for your bow, it's going to be a little bit pricier, but I have no qualms about this lasting a long, long time. I have no issues with my bow being in here. I think it's going to be protected in pretty much any environment, whether it gets wet, whether it's in an airplane, in the back of a truck, things on top of it, it's not going to be crushed. All my accessories are here in one spot when I'm traveling. I'm not having to use different bags to try and take things. Uh, I think because of that, it's, it's ultimately, it's, it's worth the cost that it takes. Uh, and I've been extremely happy with it. So check out this Pelican bow case. <laughs>